right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. All right, and uh, as always, I hope and pray, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that He allow you to be edified. You know, with something that may come out of this video, all right, and build upon your faith toward Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, I didn't have a chance to check up on videos, so you know I was uh, looking to do a video, you know, and um, you know I just uh, was watching Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Tahar, okay, um, which he's still in the premiere. I did want to wait till it was over. But, uh, you know, I got to be on, you know, I'm on the time trying to beat sunlight and um, get things done. And, um, you know, I just want to play a little bit of Apostle Tahar. He said one thing in this video is, uh, he said, that's a title. That's a lesson. Um, a few shall be saved. And uh, I would want it back, but he's still premiering. So, so I'm going to let Apostle Tahar speak. Let the spirit, you know, let the vibration set off. And uh, hopefully get into some scriptures. He called First uh, Samuel nine verse nine. A change probably occurred in times of Elijah because Elijah was definitely a prophet, and is first reflected in Ephraim. Uh, sources, I guess that's for Ephraim Menic, as an Ephraim sources, we had to look that up, literally as applied to Abraham, right, Abraham, the first scripture that comes up containing the word prophet is Genesis 20 verse 7, Moses, Moses, it says, and there rose not a prophet since in Israel, like unto Moses. So Moses was a prophet. Moses was also a king, also a leader. And he was a Levite, whom the Lord knew face to face. So this is a special man, and he always had a high position. This would have to be Peter. This would have to be David. This would have to be Peter. This would have to be uh, Mo, King Masha. And other early prophets, Hosea 6 and 5, therefore have I you them by the prophets. When you look up the word you, it means to chop down. When you're chopping down a tree, you're hewing it down. So how do you come to the people? You tell them straight as it is, like it is. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgment are as the light that goeth forth. So you can't make you can't get up one day and say, you know what? I've been watching them Israelites. I want to be a prophet too. You can't make yourself a prophet. The most high, the most high uh basically you're a prophet before you even come on the earth. Uh Jeremiah uh one. It said, Before I knew thee, I sanctified thee a prophet unto the nations, not just to Israel, but to the nation. You gotta tell Esau who he is. We got to tell Moab who he is. We got to tell Ammon who he is. Ishmael, Ham. This situation, you know, the situation with the Ukraine, Russia, and the U.S. is not. This is not going to cause the angels to come and deliver us. Like I said, us being prophets, then we're going to be. We're going to be found. Yet there, um, yet they shall know that there was a prophet among them. Because they're going to find out that the MOTB is a major prophecy before this destruction comes. And for the record, we here at Great Millstone teach that. Let me read that again. Hosea 12 and 11. Is there iniquity? I never read this. Is there iniquity? Yeah. And that's the truth, man. You know, you heard it from Elder Apostle Tahar. All right. Who the Heavenly Father, who Yahweh Shai is dealing with. You know, because uh, this war that is uh, 
it's not gonna like the apostle said man i'm just gonna you know put my little two cents in it you know and just hey because i agree okay you know what's gonna save us is um through jacob's trouble all right when they issue in that force of the motb and it's literally right here you know it's not around the corner it's not coming it's here you know and um as the apostle getting into it you know he's watching the video as well and um he did make mention uh like uh the uh, the scriptures say um few shall be saved because a prophet all right he he ain't gonna um sugarcoat okay and 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 hold back the sword all right when you learn you know the when you read the account was saw uh when he was supposed to uh slay at the amalekites all right and take a gag you know and, and destroy them and his house and, and every and all you know basically all their possessions possessions and women and children he didn't do so so he held back the sword the prophets which the word prophet means to say before all right they are a mouthpiece of the most high and the lord sends them forth to speak his word to give warning and like the apostle said man um uh, warning to the nations you know jeremiah uh what's that 28 and 8 the prophets have been before me and before old have prophesied the downfall of great kingdoms of wars mm -hmm. pestilence mm -hmm. all right because these other nations all right they have to also know that there is a power that governs all right and ruleth in the kingdom of men you know now these people they look at us you know because we're flesh we're in the flesh and we're just normal human beings man we're not um you know extraterrestrials and you got certain special gifts well we will have when the lord ignite that power within the men who, who he gives spiritual powers to okay but as of now we're men and we're gonna just teach the word and this is also what Yahweh Shai said he said feed my sheep he told Peter he said uh, if you love me feed my sheep he said it three times you know and love is the keep keeping the commandments and that's a commandment from Yahweh Shai that's from the heavenly above okay that's from the uh the heavens the excuse me what I'm trying to say is that that's a commandment from the heavens that's that's a must you know mm. until the Lord removed the prophets okay and shut the prophets up so that there is no more prophesizing because it will come to an end. That's why the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. You know, because this is truly the time to repent. It's not a time to, you know, seek out your own glory. You know, get praise and fame, you know, from the people. Get rewards for being a, a prophet. We, our reward comes through Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, not of ourselves. So really, this is the time to tighten up. And a lot of lessons been coming out just, you know, basically, you know, on this topic, because why it's, it's, a, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of folly going on, a lot of wickedness that sprung up, that's being released, you know, in the world of Israel. Okay. And, and for the newly fruit, you know, the newcomers, the men. The, the few women who do believe you got to know the difference so that's why i see why the lord is a uh, allowing these lessons to come up in this particular season in this moment because you know you got to set he got to set the standard you know for his elect and it's all about the elect so that's what i want to get into all right wise brothers to watch the apostle video you know because the apostle's always uh bringing out that edification man okay so um Let's start with uh Ooh, I'll start with Luke. Okay. Let's start in Luke. Well, matter of fact. Matter of fact, I started Matthews. Let, let me let me go to Matthews. Matthews 24. Okay, this is the book of Matthews, chapter 24, verse 30. Now it says, and there shall appear a sign of the Son of Man in the heaven. Excuse me. And there shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming 
and the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And that's Yahweh Shai. We know that Yahweh Shai is going to make his second return. So Yahweh Shai forewarned us and told us the 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 um the, he told us what to look for before his second return. All right, Matthew's just right here in this chapter, man. Okay, it says and and it says and then shall appear the son of and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven, and then shall the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds, which the clouds represents the chariots, which the world ignorantly calls UFOs. It says, in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. It says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect, and from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Okay, so it says, and they shall gather together his elect. So the Lord is coming for the elect. He's not coming for all of these uh, men and women who claim or announce that they Israelites. It's deeper than that. That's a good thing to acknowledge it. But another thing is that you got to repent. You got to be not just a hearer of the word, but a doer of the word. Because it's one thing you can hear something, but it's another thing that you took in heed and you, you, you're you doing it. You know, but they say in the world, don't talk about it, be about it. So it says, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. Because the way that the elect is going to be delivered, okay, throughout the four, well here, mainly in Babylon, and then throughout the four corners of the world, they're going to be taken up in those ships. So it says, with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather his elect, meaning the chosen. So let's go into that word elect. Okay, the Greek word there is eklektos, eklektos. Strong's G, 1588, eklektos, eklektos. Eklektos. Electos, okay, so how he pronounce it, Ecletas. Okay, it says to pick out chosen, chosen by God. So it says, pick out. So the Lord has picked out. So that means you have to be of the ones that the most high picked out. So that really just puts a cut into these different men and their mannerism and how they're going after this truth. Or how they promoting this truth okay they giving you bad vibrations and they speaking false doctrines the lord is going to pick out those that he have chosen which is from the very beginning and that chosen that he's picked out all right it's going to be in the right manner or let me say worthy to be delivered because they're going to have those qualities all right that the lord is looking for all right because they the elect it says picked out, chosen, chosen by Yahweh. And this is why we're in this fight, all right? Each and every day, uh, scriptures say, uh, 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 seek out, um, uh, uh, search, uh, seek out with fear and trembling. Um, we supposed to seek out this truth of our salvation with fear and trembling in the Lord, roughly paraphrasing, okay? This is why every day it's, a, it's, a, it's important to examine yourself, what man of person you are, you know? To see whether you're following the truth or you're following your own mind. And we know the scriptures say, um, uh, uh, follow not thy own mind, okay? Uh, man. Anyway, well, I'm trying to think of the scripture. Gotta look it up. Yeah, this is Sirach chapter five and two. Uh let me see. Okay, let's put it up here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, this is uh, Sirach chapter 5 and 2. Follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. 
you don't want to follow after your own mind okay because guess what the scriptures say the mind is desperately wicked if you think that you can you got this world figured out and you're doing what you want to do well you're going to lose we got to do according to what the lord said to do okay and we got to do it to the best of our ability and like we say all the time are we going to be perfect no all right should you be over righteous no we rehearsing the righteous acts, but we're doing it to the best of our ability. You know, there's a serious, uh, right now, this is the time, like Apostle Ricard said in one of his shows, you know, this is time to be serious, man. You know, your life is on the line and the Lord knows how to, um, how to get you. You know, he know how to destroy prideful men. Okay. Because he can easily hurt you and bring you down low by touching someone you love, shit, by plaguing your body. You know, whatever the Lord bring upon you, that will, will, will make you suffer, okay? And then and then destroy you. And also in the process, make you a public example. So we got to fear Yahweh Bashim Shai. And men, you know, they don't fear. They, they're not fearing right now. They're proud. So anyway, follow not thy own mind and thou strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Oh, scriptures say, lean not upon thy own understanding. That's another one. You know, because you might think you got it understood your way, but you never checked the scriptures. You never you never checked if, if that's the Lord's way. All right. We got our way. You know, certain things we like. We has our own preference, but we have to do what the Lord's way is. All right. So therefore, if you, we're going to do something, you know, something as, you know, maybe uh, needs counsel or, or decision. You ask brothers or something like that Something that you may Or you could go to yourself Go into the scriptures And see if you never heard of that You want to see if You know what's that situation about You check the scriptures first Or you, we pray You know But we're always following The Lord's way Not our own way That's the difference Esau is setting up for a kill But this one he gonna lose Because the scriptures say You can do nothing against the truth Before the truth Alright I was watching Elder Yashawamba he put up a show dealing with uh, some uh, known Christian uh, in the churches, I guess, uh, uh, sponsoring or promoting this uh, documentary that they're looking to do because the uh, churches, the, the black government churches in Christianity, they're losing members by the days. All right. They, 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 by, by, by the, uh, you know, by, by, by the hour, I should say. All right. But that's. That's 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 beautiful, all right. Because when I was watching it, I'm thinking, you know, well, this is the Lord doing the shifting, and meanwhile, E, you know, or you know, this guy Vocab and his minions, or who, you know, who the ones that sent him, them Jesuit priests, the elite, whoever he's under, you know, we under, we know that he's he's under something, and he's been sent, you know, and uh, they think they're gonna demonize us, but really, you could do nothing against the truth before the truth. It's going to bring uh, fame to the Lord's name because even what they say in the world, bad publicity is good publicity. The world is acknowledging that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, all right, so-called West Indians, so-called Haitians, so -called, all right, so-called Hispanics, all right, that we're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. So these uh, Amalekites, you know, small hats are being exposed, all right? So when they go to demonizing brothers or demonizing the um, the existence and 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 the Lord the awakening of the Lord to His people is only going to make it sprout even more, you know. And that's how I was uh, seeing it as a brother was going into it, you know. So this is some beautiful time. So this is important time to really um, to really sharpen and be all about truth, man. As the scriptures speak uh, Matter of fact I gotta get this scripture I kinda drift away a little bit But Lord willing I pray this lesson be edifying man Let me go to Ephesians Alright Because we need to be uh, built up and, and ready for the day of the battle man And we do that We're, we're, we're built up that way Alright Through the word Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai And by having this knowledge and understanding as the scriptures say, it's the stability of our times that's going to keep us stable. You know, what we just went through was a little, 
uh, through 2020, you know, and all of the shaking up, you know, Esau's not not letting the crisis go to waste to to plug in his uh, his 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 system for everyone to worship, which is the image of the beast. All right, which has already been established going back to the Roman Empire, technically, but this system in way that you know we're we're all under the surveillance, we're all in uh, under the um, the uh, the uh, artificial intelligence with man merging with machine. All right, Esau having this full total dominance, this full total control over us. All right. Well, let me read this Ephesians chapter six verse ten. It says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And that's the trickeries. See, so we just went through something which was light because it's not nothing compared to Jacob's trouble, but it's a glimpse of it. It's, it's a taste of it. OK, you just had a taste of that water, that that cup. You had a taste of that, that, that the calamity that's coming. Brothers lost jobs, brothers broke up with their wives, you know, separation, the Lord separating family. You saw the true colors of individuals, man. Even family members, man. The Lord prepared us, man. You, you really could see like how, hey, the ones that's close, uh, uh, ones that's close to you will turn on you too, you know? So there's a lot to be learned, all right? When things go to get tough, okay? Things going to get rough. So it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, which is this word, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So to stand against the wiles, the trickeries of the devil is standing in truth. Okay, standing on truth. You cannot destroy devils with, with lies. Okay. And that's what a lot of these different camps they like to do with us brothers here at Great Millstone. They think it's some sort of tactic. They think, see, the Lord is taking away those tactics, those ways of those clever, crafty ways of deceiving people, you know, doing videos. I remember IUIC got exposed for that, for one of their guys that 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 uh that left their group, you know, and he was paid, he had all the receipts. So you can't say he was lying, he had the receipts, all right. And how he, they made him record certain conversations or he recorded conversations just to cover his ass. And uh, how they wanted him to set up a page of a woman, which was really him, but he made a page acting like he's a woman and shit. That's fucking wicked, man. See, the Lord is not with those deception tactics no more. That's being uprooted. That's being taken up and pulled out the root because that's the ways of E. If the Lord is exposing Esau, what makes you think that you can use his tactics to actually win? No, he's losing, man. He's losing. So that's why these guys are being exposed. That's why the Lord is allowing Satan to shine a light on them. Put that pride in them even more. So that they could be seen for the righteous. You know? So they could be exposed. Because the Lord is up. He's up. He's Ripping up those 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 uh, roots of lies, that's not gonna work anymore. It worked for a time, but now the Lord is overturning things. Now He's turning things upside. How you say it? Upside upside right or right upside up? I, I forgot how you say that saying. You know He's turning things in its properly His proper order, okay? Because wickedness have been been winning, all right, for 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 a short season, okay. But now things that are righteous are going to start winning over wickedness. See, I said this in another video that if you're righteous, all right, righteousness is wickedness today and wickedness is righteousness today. So if you're righteous, you're going to be demonized. You're going to be put down. You're going to be talked about. You're going to lose. You're going to be misfortune. OK, everybody's going to be against you. But if you wicked, everybody's with you. You, you uh you, you get applauded you get praised you receive glory all right you get uplifted all right and you win but now the lord is slowly you know that power transformation of power that wickedness is going out and righteousness is coming in so that's why we got to stand on truth so it says for on 
put for, put on the whole arm of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So this is a spiritual war. And guys play these different tactics. They know how to play these games, crafty ways and deceiving you. Oh, brother, you ain't got no views. Ain't nobody watching that shit, you know? And they thinking because they winning, they proud, you know, because they getting viewers, they getting the comments, people who are applauding them, you know? Even when they're wrong, they still getting applauded. Well, you're losing, all right? That, 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 shit, ain't, that shit ain't winning. You're gonna lose. So it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, you know, playing, playing with spirits, man. Principalities is those spirits, you know. Really, they're playing on the left hand side. They're not playing on the right hand side. Okay. It says, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, because who rules this world? Satan. It says, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we got to fight against that, and that's that deception, truth versus lies. That's what this is about. Jacob is truth. The elect of Jacob is. And Esau is the is is the lie, man. All right, that comes with the deception, the deceiving. Okay, and that's Esau's power when he could deceive you. You know, not let alone you know his um, his sword, you know, his weaponry. Okay, and his tongue, cause that tongue that hit well. You know, it says, "Wherefore take unto you the whole arm of Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand against the evil." able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand it says stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breast the breastplate of righteousness so it's all about truth man it's all about truth so Salakia let's get back to Matthews uh, 24 Matthews 24 and 31 it says um and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other okay and we went into the word elect which is e e electos all right electos it says picked out chosen chosen by yahweh to obtain salvation Yahawashai, Hamashiach. See? So the ones that are the elect of Israel, because not all Israel going to be delivered. Two thirds of the Lord's people is going to get put to death. The Lord is only coming for that one third, man, of you Israelites. So just because you're claiming that you're an Israelite and you think it's, you know, it's cool, it's, it's what's up, all right? You got a lot of them coming out of those, those churches, you know, them holic houses, okay? And, you know, they're not, you know, uh, being a doer of the word, you know, they're just a hero, you know, they could denounce the wicked shit, but now you got to do right. That's, that's your duty. Okay. You got to do right. You got to learn. Okay. You got to fight against the wickedness. You got to, you got to put on your shot. You got to learn of your shot. Okay. Cause this truth is not all about, you know, the white man's the devil. Okay. And that's what a lot of guys they get hung up on and that's what Esau trying to sell pitch to demonize us that's one part of it he is because he goes back to Esau not every white man is an Edomite you know if his seed and line go back to being Esau then he's an Edomite but you got brothers who are also that look like so called Edomites and they Israelites so it's more than that okay it's more than that all right so it says Christians are called chosen up, chosen or elect of Yahweh. Yeah, those who follow Yahweh Shai, the elected ones. All right, not this JC guy, okay, or this this deity, this demonic uh, uh, energy, man. All right, because that's all that is. It's false. It's a lie. It says the Messiah is called elect as appointed by God, uh, appointed by Yahweh to the most exalted office conceivable. The Messiah, which is Yahweh. Excuse me, the Messiah, which is Yahweh Shai. Hamashiach is called elect 
as appointed by Yahweh to the most exalted office conceivable. It says uh, choice, select. So the Most High made a choice and he has selected. You know, if you have, um, you go to a soda machine, all right, which you shouldn't be drinking soda anyway, but as an example, you go to a soda machine, you may see Sprite, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Diet Pepper, you know, you make a choice. You looking, you looking, all right, which one should I get? You see tea, you see water, you see sweet tea, unsweetened, you see Gatorade, you be like, ah, man, you know what? Let me get the unsweetened tea, <laughs> you know? Or, or, or let me get that Pepsi, whatever, right? You made a choice and you selected, you clicked the button. That's who I want. So when you paid your money, your dollar fifty dollar, you know, shit going up now. <laughs> she used to be like a, a dollar. Now she like a dollar fifty, dollar seventy five, just for the same size soda that you would normally get, two ounce. Oh, was it two ounce? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, you paid your money. You expect when you push that button, when you put you you chose and you select that item that you chose. You're expecting that to come down to, uh, to to come down out of the machine. So if it come down Mountain Dew and you ain't selected, you're gonna be mad. I didn't want this shit. Well, according to the Heavenly Father, all right, he said his word doesn't go out void. It accomplish the work. Okay. So if the Lord have chosen the Israelites, he said also uh, he changed not, least Jacob be consumed. So that means that his his chosen is the Israelites, but even going deeper, the elect of the Israelites. So the Most High made a choice and he selected. He even put his name in Israel and made that covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? Because the Lord's name is in the tribe of Judah. The word Judah in the Hebrew is Yahweh, which means Yahweh's praise. So it says, uh, choice, select. Uh, the best of the best of its kind or class, excellent, preeminent, applied to certain individual Christians. So it says the best of the best of its kind or class. So you have, all right, you have um, you have you have a collective of Skittles, or then what's what's a better term? What's what's a better example? Um. Got to deal with athletes. Yep. The All-Star Game. We just, okay, that just passed. The All-Star Game, you got all these basketball players in the NBA. They all good because they made it to the NBA. They all getting paid to play. But for the All-Star Game, you're going to piss, you're going to pick the best of its kind to play in the game. The best in the league. That best in the league of basketball is the elect. So within Israel, all right. That's scattered throughout the four corners of the world. Okay. The Lord have chosen him and elect an all-star of those people. Starting with the men. Okay. It says the best of its kind or class. Excellent. Preeminent. Pre pre preeminent. Applied. Well, look this word preeminent up real quick. If someone or something is preeminent in a group, they are more important, powerful, or or capable than other people of things in the group. <laughs> Woo! If someone or something is preeminent in a group, which is the elect of Israel, they are more important. The prophets are more important. The Lord said he revealeth his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. So they're more important than the, than, than, the, than the all of Israel. They're the most important. That's who the mouthpiece of the Lord is. That's who he deals with. When you go back <coughs> in some of the uh, accounts in the, in the Old Testament, in the ancient days, you had kings set up and then you had the elders. All right. And then you had prophets. Now, the Lord necessarily didn't talk with the king because he's the king over Israel. He would deal through the prophets. The prophets would have to come and lay the word to the king, okay, to the elders and let them know what the Lord is going to do. And back then, we respected that. 
because we knew it to be true. We knew that our power exists. All right. So it wasn't like, you know, you this uh, king and then the most High just dealing with you. The Lord dealt in, in order. He dealt with the prophets. The prophet would go to the king or the elders and lay, lay down what the Lord has said to them and what they should do for Israel. You see? And that's just the way the Lord set it up. It says, if someone or something is preeminent in a group, they are more important, powerful. Was not the prophets powerful? All right. You had, um, you know, uh, man, all the prophets, man. You know, even with the spiritual powers, man. Okay. The things that were done. Yeah, I was shy. He's a prophet. Okay. He performed many miracles. Elijah. All right. Apostle Paul. Peter. King David. You know, these men were powerful. Hey, Apostle Paul was very powerful in his speech. All the prophets are powerful in his speech, but we, we read a lot of the Paul letters that were written to the churches, which were very powerful, man. Still powerful to this day, that today we're still continuing on that course. We're continuing what we've been what we learned in these scriptures that happened in the past, man. That's how powerful the word of the Lord is, man. Woo! Wait. It says, or capable than other people, or things in, uh, in, th or things in the group, you know. So that's that, right? Now let's go to another scripture. Okay, let's get uh, this is Saint John chapter fifteen, verse sixteen. It says, "Ye ye have not chosen me." But I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of my father in my name, he may give he may give it you. So it says and it says ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And that word chosen. All right. Is eclectos electos. Let me see, make sure I'm saying it, try to pronounce it right, or well, according to uh, this blue letter here. Just wanna click it again. Okay, well, according to this, it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have, cho I have chosen you. Now, this word is a little different. Let's see here. It's a Greek word. Strong's G, 1586, eklegomai, eklegomai. Okay, that's Greek. Use lexicon, eklego, eklego. Okay, so what we have is a Greek word here in chosen for um what, what book is this this is john 15 16 all right but it still means the same it says to pick out chose uh choice to pick or choose no excuse me to pick out choose to pick or choose out for oneself yeah because it says have chosen all right so the lord have chosen it says uh choosing one out of many Still the same thing. Yahweh Shai chosen his disciples. Choosing one for an office. So it's the same thing, man. Okay? It's the same thing. It says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. See the word ordained real quick. Another Greek word. Strong's G, 5087. Tithemi. Tithemi. It says to set, put place, to place or lay, to put down, lay down, to bend down, to lay off or aside, to wear or carry no longer, to lay by lay aside money, to make. All right. It's, it's set, oh, to set, fix, establish. All right. So the Lord have set the prophets. 
the elect, ye have set the elect. It says, um, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, meaning established you, right? Matter of fact, let me see something. Let's go here. Ordained. When someone is ordained, they are made a member of the clergy in a religious ceremony. Okay. It says um, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, which are the prophets. They're going to go and teach the word and they're going to bring forth fruit, meaning they're going to teach the word and the word of the Lord is going to wake up the elect that's going to come into the ministry, which is Yahweh Shai's ministry. So it says that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that Whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. All right? But the key word there is chosen. All right? Chosen. Now let's move on. Let's go to the book of Revelations, chapter 17, and verse 13. It says, These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the, unto the beasts. These make war with the Lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them, which is Yahawashai. For he is Lord of lords and kings of kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. So it's all about the elect. It's all about the elect, man. Now let me check this word chosen. Okay, electos. We're going back to that. Okay. Strong's G, 1588, Eclectos. 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 All right, it says, picked out, chosen, chosen by God. Right. Okay. Eclect, electos, Eclectos, however how you want to pronounce it. All right. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. So that's why we have to be, hey, the scriptures say many are called and few are chosen. Now, we don't know if we're the chosen yet, you know, but we have confidence and believe that we are because we're doing the will of the Lord. You know, as long as we endure, as Yahweh Shah said, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Another precept, give diligence to make thou calling and election sure. So if we, we do what the Lord said and we endure hardship, we, we, we walk this straight gate. This path of difficulty, you know, and and follow the Lord, not denouncing the Lord or, you know, making haste in a time of trouble and, you know, taking the MOTB, which is the Karagma, but we put our faith in the Lord even unto death, then guess what? We're going to be of the elect. All right. So, these, this, hey, this, this is the time to, to seek that, man, you know, before it's too late. And either way, you know, this is the Lord's will anyway. Everybody's going to do the Lord's will regardless. Even if they're going off, you're doing the Lord's will. Well, you get cast out. That's the Lord's will. You was never of the Lord. The Lord got you up out of there. And that's a scary thing, man. That's why we don't play with Yahweh Bashim Yahshua and his word. We don't play when it comes to this ministry, man. You know, now we enjoy ourselves. And of course, we, 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 uh, we also have a sense of humor and things like that. So, yeah, brothers, you know, we chill, you know, and everything ain't all about being so serious all the time. You know, we get chill time. We, we get out uh, uh, celebrating uh, 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 holy days and brothers fellowship, you know, and breaking bread. But when it comes to teaching this truth and, and mannering ourselves in this truth, we got to be serious. OK, we got to handle this word with care. Make sure that we're not teaching this word. Or giving a bad vibration to those out there that's inquiring for this word. You know, at least the most high destroy you. You know? So, let's go to Luke chapter 13 verse 20, 23. It says, Then said one unto him, Lord, are they, are they few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the, at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in. And shall not be able when once the master of the house is risen up and have shut to shut to the door and ye began to stand without and to knock at the door saying Lord Lord open unto us and he shall answer and say unto you I know you not 
whence ye are. So many men that claim they know the Israelites, they out there and call themselves teaching, but they're not teaching correctly. And then they're giving off this, this wicked vibration. You're not really uh, teaching the ways of salvation to those to repent, you know, for those to really do the things that the Lord delight in. Because uh, matter of fact, this scripture here, I got to bring this back out. This is the book of um, 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and 14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. You got these guys talking about some, um, wear your fringes, nigga, <laughs> you know, on a t-shirt. Like that's going to make you righteous. And then here they go, they go and be wicked as all hell, man, you know. You see it all in their Passovers that they're showing to the world, making it public. You know, then they're coming up with plots and schemes and they can't be reproved. Nobody could tell them nothing. You know, they're not going off. They don't, they don't break no laws. They're perfect. You know? The Lord said, if my people, which are called by my name, which is Yasha Allah, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, which is seek the Bible. Okay, that's the Lord's face. And turn from their wicked ways. You got to turn from your wicked ways. You can't be committing adultery. You got some of these guys that think, well, he ain't in the truth. Lord ain't dealing with him. I can have her. You know? Some of these guys think that way. You got guys still smoking weed being in the truth. <laughs> well, thinking they in the truth because they not in the truth. You smoking weed and you think you in the truth. You think you can tell somebody off. You, you a hypocrite. Yahweh Shai was speaking about you. Matthew's the seventh, seventh chapter. All right. Why um, uh, not clean out the beam out of thy own eye? Then thou get able to clean the beam out of thy, out of thy brother's eye, man. I mean, you got to clean up yourself first. You got to turn from wickedness first. You know, you got a lot of these guys, a lot of these people out here, they know they're Israelites, but they, but they niggas, man. And they holics, they hoes. Girls gonna still be hoes, man. So lock you. Alright, so lock you for that. Let me uh, continue. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. You gotta turn from your wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And right now the Lord is hearing from heaven because you have the elect here. The whole for elect, we, we like to say, the whole for elect. And they're crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Now, as all these other men that 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 um know they Israelites, is they really crying out for the Lord to come? No. Is they really crying out for the abominations? No. It's just for views, man. It's just so that they can accumulate this money. All right. They can get somewhere. They can be somebody. They're not really sincere about this. They don't really want Yahweh Shah to come back. But the elect here, they're crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. So the Lord is hearing them. The Lord is hearing us. All right. And it says, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. So the heavenly father is going to forgive us, man. Call halal, how about shimmy, how was shy. You know, that's music, man. Because we is going to have a kingdom here on the earth. It's going to happen. It will happen, all right? Let's say the Lord, man. <laughs> all right? It says, Then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and will heal their land because the Lord is going to take the Israelites from wherever they at, mainly here in Babylon, and then scattered through the four corners, and he's going to bring us back to the land in which he promised our forefathers in. And we're going to what? The Lord is going to clean the earth, man. Everything else that's prophesied or the, the nation is going... Uh, into into the kingdom and shackles and chains being in captivity that's gonna happen all right bringing in the forces of the gentiles that's gonna happen okay so let's go back this is luke 13 and 20 13 and 26 it says then shall ye begin to say we have eaten and drunk in thy presence and thou hast taught in our streets see these men they taught in the streets they was teaching in the streets but he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence ye are. Depart from me, 
all ye workers of iniquity. So the Lord is talking about these men that are out here faking jacks, man, that are out here lying, that are out here playing games, that are out here being crafty to, 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 to be uh, deceiving you, man, so that they could have their constellation. He's going to tell that to these same men, okay? It says, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Arr, you know, you're going to be mad as hell. It says, when ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets and the kingdom of Yahweh and you yourselves thrust out and they shall come from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south and shall sit down in the kingdom of Yahweh and behold, there are last and they, uh, excuse me, and behold, there are last which shall be first and there are first which shall be last all right this is the book of second address eight and one it says and he answered me saying the most high have made the world for many but the world to come for few i will tell you a stem you to address as when thou axest the earth it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mud whereof earthly vessels are made but little dust that gold cometh of. Even so is the course of this present world. There be many created, but few shall be saved. So answered I and said, Swallow, swallow then down, O my soul, understanding and devour wisdom. You see that, man? Lord said, but, but little dust of gold cometh of. The earth is, you know, comparing the earth you got a lot of mud everywhere. It's more mud than it is pieces of gold in the earth, man. And those pieces of gold is precious, you know? But you have a lot of mud out here. That's comparison of Israel. You got a lot of Israelites out here, man. But there's only a few pieces of gold, man. All right? So he says, so answered, so Edra said, so answered I and said, swallow, uh, well, he said, so answered I and said, swallow then down, O my soul, understanding and devour wisdom. All right, this is my last precept here. This is Matthew 7 and 13. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth into life, and few there be that find it. So only a few is going to find it, and I hope and pray Yahweh Bashim Shah be one of those few men that, that be a part of that number, you know, and being of the Lord's elect, man, you know, to get up out of this shit, you know, Lord's willing, man, because we living in a wicked ass world, man. This is a wicked ass world, okay? You can't trust nobody, all right? Everything is against you, you know, if you're righteous, if you speak up, you're going to be demonized, all right, because it proves that the majority of the people, especially the Israelites, they are wicked, man. Wicked as hell, man. You can't trust your woman. She wicked, okay? You can't. Listen, man. You know, ain't ain't no telling which way they gonna shift. So that's why we gotta stay on our P's and Q's. And more, hey, more importantly, you know, staying right with the Lord if we can so that the Lord can make a way for us to escape. You know, so he could be on our side to deliver us from whatever tribulation, whatever it is that we have to go through. You know, it's all about pleasing the Lord, man, and and uh, doing the works and, and, you know, having that to prove your faith. All right. Getting the blood off your hands. You're not holding back the sword, teaching the right things. You know, I, I, would, I would rather, you know, like as a son and a father, a son. You know, a, a son that, that was raised from his father, he loves to see his father smile, especially after he done something good. You know, he made his father proud. So that's just like us, man. You know, we do these lessons and shows and hope that we make the Lord proud. You know, he, he's proud with us. You know, instead of being angry with us, you know, it's easy to, you know, hey, I ain't the most high, man, or Yahweh shy, but, um, you know, I'm just saying this through through my, uh, you know, speak as hey, through the spirit, man, of the Lord. You know, you wanna you wanna um, you know, make make your father proud, man. Okay, which is in heaven, which is Yahweh, and also Yahweh Shai, which is our Savior. 
you know, when you just look at it, man, you, why would you want the Lord to be angry with you and destroy you? Wouldn't you want to hope that he's proud of you and the works that you've done because you're being sincere and truthful? All right. And not getting over on people, you know, and destroying households and teaching lies. You teaching lies, you're against your house. He's going to get you. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.